Hello and welcome to Truma. My name's RJ. I'm one of the technical trainers here. And today we're going to be discussing the most common error codes we hear about here in the call center about the Vario heat. Truma's smallest, quietest forced air furnace in the RV market. The first error code we're going to discuss is E2 and E16H. Both will be displayed on the CP Plus here. And they both mean the same thing. The Vero Heat tried to light and did not sense flame. Most of the time when we hear this in the call center, it's the same story. The customer just had the tanks filled and now they're getting the air codes E2 and E16. The Vero Heat is so efficient and uses such little flow of propane that especially after a tank fill, you have to attempt to light it five, six, seven, eight, nine, even 10 times to purge all of the air from where your tank is at to where the Vario heat is at. Once you have propane sitting at the Vario heat, it should light and sense flame. The next error code we will wanna discuss is W255H on the Vario heat. This indicates there's a loss of communication between the Vero Heat and the CP Plus. The error code will be displayed on the CP Plus as W255H. What you will want to do is make sure that the connection points at the coupler and at the CP Plus are secure and have no corrosion on them. The next error code we want to discuss is W27H on the Vero Heat. This warning indicates there's too much heat in the distribution area of the Vario Heat. You will want to make sure the fresh air returned to the Vario Heat is unobstructed and it can breathe correctly, as well as the distribution ducts are free and clear and can vent the heat away correctly. The next error code we want to discuss is W29H on the Vario Heat. This indicates under voltage to the furnace generally less than 10.0 volts, which can indicate a dead house battery. You may just need to plug the shoreline power in and allow the house battery to charge to indicate that you have proper voltage. It could also indicate that the house batteries are failed or the converter has failed. Please make sure to check these and make sure they're working properly. Thank you for spending time discussing these common error codes with me. If you see any uncommon error codes or require any further troubleshooting assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to us here at Truma. Thank you, and I hope you have an awesome day.